Before the video starts, I need to say something important. I've had my Discord linked to my YouTube channel forever. It's always had the same vanity link, which is discord.gg forward slash nitros with one eye. Don't use that under any circumstances at all. That, that vanity link is on about 500 videos and it's going to take too long to change. I'm not 100% sure exactly how, but basically my vanity link has been stolen. It's now been changed into a server that is basically trying to clone my server, and I can only assume probably going to try to rat people. I have a new Discord link that I've been trying to put everywhere that I possibly can. I've put announcements out and everything, but it's on the screen right now. And don't, don't entertain a server that doesn't have nearly 30k members, because it's not mine. Now just yesterday there was another new update slash patch that recently came to Skyblock. I guess for a lot of people it's probably gone a little bit under the radar. Anyway, the patch notes include I guess some minor changes such as fix a specific case where some players are unable to progress L quests in the Crimson Isles. They fix Blade Slayer sometimes unintentionally teleporting high up in the air. Now all that's great. But what we really want to look at is the changes to the boomerang. Fix Boomerang doing less damage when changing held item slots. Fix Boomerang's returning sometimes doing 4 times damage instead of 2 times damage. Fix starred Boomerang's taking longer to visually update in the hotbar when returning compared to unstarred ones. So, from that I would say that the Boomerang has been buffed, but it's not really, it's just been fixed, it's just been amended to what it should have been for all this time. Anyway, I'm most interested in the change where it states that basically when the boomerang returns it will now sometimes do 4 times damage instead of 2 times damage, which obviously means we can do way more damage. So it's time to, um, I guess, buy a boomerang or two. Oh my Jesus Christ. 36 million coins for a boomerang. Oh my god, that is ridiculously expensive. They were Wait, I want to see how much they were. Okay, so in the last week, we see them around 13, 18, 16, 11. I guess this is dependent on what's on them, but maybe even as low as like 10 million coins for a relatively clean one. And then we can see when the update comes into effect, it spikes. Oh my God, 60 million. This is ridiculous. Well, I'm saying it's ridiculous, but it might not be ridiculous when we see what they can do. Okay, we're just going to simply buy the two cheapest boomerangs. And I know um, this is... Probably better if we had maybe a couple more. Um, however, I didn't really anticipate having to spend this many coins on boomerangs, if I'm being completely honest. But at least we can get an idea. Okay, let's uh, let's armor up. See what we can do. And oh god, so let's take a look at this. So let's position ourselves. He's doing almost a million damage when it comes back, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, I know these two are slightly different. Um... Not 100% sure why. Somebody's put ultimate wise on this one. But oh well. Now, I'm doing almost a million damage. Let's see how we can apply this to other areas of Skyblock. But before we do, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROS. It gets yourself 5% off. Also, you should subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. You should also join the Discord server. It's linked in the description of this video. We offer slayers and dungeon carries, so if you want to join the server and get carried, or even carry and make some coins, then make sure to join. Now, let's actually take a look at the boomerang itself. It's ability swing. We right click, um, throw the bone a short distance, dealing the damage an arrow would. Deals double damage when coming back. Pierces up to 10 foes. So I guess it's time to uh, give these two boomerangs a bit of a test and a test in dungeons. So it's time to give these a try. We're dealing 15 million damage and on the way back around about 30. Which is lovely. Um, you see, the issue is, is that I think... People back in the day when they used to use boomerangs, I think really the optimal setup is probably to have five and then switch through. It's either four or five. Um, because obviously if you right click with a boomerang, there's one, two, like a two second delay before it comes back to you. So therefore you can scroll through and use multiple at once. But as you say, I'm still waiting. Like there's still a one, two, before I get the next one. So if you have maybe three more and you cycle through and then go back to the start, then in theory you can basically just have unlimited boomerangs, as you would with, I guess, a bow. Now, I'd say boomerangs are most useful against, like, crowds of zombies for clearing, so let's try and round them up and see what we can do. I mean, that's really not too bad. It's just, um, yeah, maybe with five you could do uh, even more. I just think a traditional bow just kind of makes more sense, considering... Honestly, I mean, I do skill issue, and I don't know, I just kind of find it difficult to cycle through five different slots and the click before I move on to the next one. Like, I think I just mess it up too much. But nevertheless, I mean, they are kind of fun to use. Um, even if you skill issue, to be honest. 
And I guess now that the bugs that uh, surrounded them have been fixed, considering like these actual starred ones work properly, I mean, I mean, to be honest, that's probably one of the biggest issues. If it's not going to return properly and it's starred, I mean, its main use is for dungeons. Let's be real. And if it can't be used properly for dungeons, then who would use it? And I guess that's why it was so cheap. I don't understand why it took them so long to fix that. To be honest, seeing some terrible gameplay of me attempting to use them, and just two of them, isn't probably enough. Less than a day ago, uh, a channel named Tekka uploaded um, this video showing off how great they now are in M6. So, um, you know, I'll leave a link to this video in the description. However, I feel like this clip might give a little bit more clarity as opposed to what on earth I was attempting to do in regular Floor 6. As you can see, kind of cracked. I honestly just wish that you'd be able to use them against ghosts because that would be absolutely cracked. I mean, I guess there's probably a reason why you can't use them and it's because they probably would be too OP. However, what you can do is let them hit you. They take damage from thorns. Well, the question has got to be asked, is it worth it? An optimal setup at the moment requires five boomerangs at minimum. Each boomerang is around about 38, well, let's call it 40 million coins for the sake of ease. So that's 200 million coins. And that's the cheapest ones on the market. If you had five good boomerangs, you might even be looking to pay something like 70 million coins per. Or if you buy five of those, that's around about 350 million coins. I guess the great thing about boomerangs is the fact that they only require a floor 4 completion. In comparison to something like a Juju Shortbow, um, that requires Enemy Slayer 5 requirement, um, and also is going to set you back around about 22 million coins. So it's considerably cheaper, even for a really good one, but you need Enemy Slayer 5. A good Juju Shortbow is about 50 million coins, so it is way cheaper. However, it's got to be said, if you can use these 5 boomerangs effectively, then that would be probably, at this point in time, way better than a Juju. And then when you actually take a look, considering a Terminator is about double the price of five nicely upgraded boomerangs, kind of gets you thinking, is a Terminator twice as good as five boomerangs at the moment? Well, of course, I mean, that's kind of not how things work. Uh, but it's interesting to think about. Overall, though, I think it's good that they finally amended the uh, the issues that they had with the boomerangs, even though they persisted for so long. Kind of makes me question why it took them so long to sort it out. Uh, nevertheless, at least it's done. Well, let me know what you think of this change in the comments. Uh, I get the feeling that I might sound a bit distracted in this video, but I'm really trying to sort out the whole situation with the Discord server that I uh, mentioned at the start of the video. Discord support is... useless, unfortunately. And to be honest, I'm not annoyed that my vanity link has been stolen. It's just the fact that some people that are now going to be joining that server thinking it's my server, and... Um, They've already tried to impersonate Pizza Client, which is a hack client for Skyblock. Um, and I would assume that they're probably just going to try and rat people. So I don't really care about the vanity link. Like, I, it doesn't make a big difference. I can just change it. But it's the fact that people now joining that server thinking it's my server are probably going to jeopardize their account, which is not ideal. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.